Hi, I'm Nick Shell. I'm that guy that tries to help other husbands out, or maybe you're engaged and about to be, and this is stuff you need to know. Now, one of the first things I was told back when I was engaged, and I was told by someone who'd been married years before me, he was telling me that, Nick, you're wired, as a man, you're wired to solve problems. That's all men are. That's, that's something, it's in our wiring. We see a problem, we wanna fix it. Now, here's the problem, here's the actual problem that you're gonna be dealing with. Every day, you're gonna come home from work. And your wife is going to tell you things that happen at work or during the day. And it appears on the surface that she's telling you problems that she needs to help you solve. She's going to tell you about what happened at work, how somebody said this and this. And, and a lot of times it's very obvious what the solution is. Just tell this person this and that would solve the problem. Very cut and dry how to solve the problem they tell us about. But here's the one thing you have to do. You have to not solve the problem. You have to not present the obvious solution. If you do that, if you provide the solution and tell her what the solution is, you lose. Just like Willy Wonka. No, you lose. That's what's going to happen to you. Do not help your wife solve the problem. It's, and here's why. Because that's not what she wants. She doesn't want you to solve the problem. She simply wants you to uh, enthusiastically listen. So here's what you do every day when you get home. And she starts telling you about these problems that seem like they need a solution. All you do is you look her in the eyes and you nod your head and you give comments that show that you're listening. Sometimes that means you're repeating phrases that she says or, oh man, or oh wow, things like that. Make sure that it's very obvious that you're engaged. And again, it's not just about doing this, but it's about repeating certain things she says back to you, which shows that you're definitely listening. Let that go on for five, 10, 15 minutes, because that's how she's wired. She's wired to vent and get all that stuff out of her. If she doesn't, she's not gonna have a good rest of the night and a good rest of the day. And so meanwhile, if you do what you think is right and try to solve the problem, it upsets her because it shows that you're not listening and you're more concerned about your own agenda when she never wanted you to solve the problem. This is one of the most important lessons I was ever taught ever taught as a, as a fiance at the time, uh, back in 2008 when I was first told this. So it's a very simple thing, but if you can't get this right, it's gonna be very difficult for you. So again, in review, your wife does not want you to solve the problems. In fact, uh, the, when, when you do have to solve a problem, it's not gonna be one that she presents to you. And here's what I mean by that. A lot of times, you guys are gonna kinda of end up in a weird situation where just kind of on different pages and maybe some kind of misunderstanding, some kind of dry spell of any kind. All right, I won't elaborate. But what you're gonna find is, as the husband, your job is going to be to realize, oh, I've got to solve a problem right now. And that is, oh, she's, she's stressed out because she hasn't been out of the house in a while. I need to make sure she gets out and has coffee with her friend or something like that. So the problems you're actually gonna solve are, are almost never gonna be actually presented by your wife. They're gonna be problems that you actually have to realize are problems uh, and then solve them from there. And at the same token, this is equally important, uh, your wife also, uh, there's gonna be times where you think, uh, where you realize there's some kind of problem and you're gonna say, well, just, just tell me wh what you need me to do and I'll do it. See, that's a problem. Basically, I'm telling you, don't say that either. Don't say, well, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. That's gonna upset her. Can you imagine that? You cannot say that to your wife. Here's, here's the irony going back to what I was just talking about. It's your job to figure out what the solution is and it's your job to implement the solution. And if it involves her, present it to her, but if all possible, figure out the solution and just do it. Don't, don't even talk to her about it, just do it. See, that's what she's actually looking for from you when it comes to solving problems. That's the kind of problem she needs solved. The problem she not, doesn't need solved is that story about at, uh, uh, what happened at work. I hope that makes sense. And it's fundamentally important to you being the husband that she needs. That's what she needs out of you. She needs someone who's gonna truly listen to her because as men, we don't, at least most men I know, aren't the venting type. Uh, I don't, I'm not an emotional guy. I'm very emotionally intelligent, therefore I'm not emotional. Uh, I'm very cut and dry, I process things and then I'm done with them. And so when I get home, I don't need to necessarily tell how my, all these stories that went on because I don't let things bother me. But women are wired different, and that's not a bad thing uh, that they're wired that way. But 
we're not here to help them in that way. We're here to help them by solving problems that they don't present to you. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you got any questions because I'm, I'm happy to elaborate if I need to. That's important information that all married men need to know. I'm, I'm confident that this information, there's no husband out there that won't benefit from this information. Now, and I'm assuming if you've been married a while, you already know this stuff, you've at least figured it out. But if you haven't figured it out, uh, you're welcome. <laughs>